I started quite late, actually. I was uh, attending Lehigh University and was lucky enough to buy an old Porsche. And I kind of just caught the bug and I really liked it. And uh, because my father being Mark Donahue and sort of a Porsche icon, I think I got hooked up with the right people in the Porsche club and I learned real fast. Just kind of went from there. My father was inducted into Hall of Fame. And when we went to the induction ceremony, looking eyeball to eyeball to guys like Mario Andretti and Johnny Rutherford and Allens or junior and senior. And when they asked me what I was doing about racing and I said, you know, I was just doing this club driver's education stuff, it just didn't seem to cut the mustard. So guys from Porsche Club helped me out, get started, and the rest is sort of history. I really was just like any other kid. You want to be a you know, rock star, or astronaut, or race car driver, whatever. It was just kind of one of those far-fetched ideas. And I, I didn't fully realize how special my dad was. I mean, I knew who I specially was, but it didn't really strike a chord as much as it did then. That I had advantages, that he sort of paved the way for me in, in his accomplishments. And because he treated so many people well, those people in his absence, wanted to do him a favor back, and I'm the lucky recipient of those favors. I started with Brumos in 03, and back then, everyone thought we were just crazy. For being out here, there's only a couple cars, this thing will never fly. There's always these fly-by-night series that come along, but Grand Am was behind us with a plan, and it seems to be working, because now the fields are, are really strong, they're really competitive, anyone can win. You learn how to race when you're in Grand Am, and they've come up with a formula where everyone has a chance to compete. Daytona has a tendency just to eat cars alive. You say it's an endurance race, you say it's not a sprint race, I say that tongue in cheek. Uh, I mean, you're running really hard all the time, but a kind of a different hard. You're going as fast as you can, but without hitting any curves or not putting in the car in a, a position you might in a three hour race but you're still running as hard as you can all the time. And it's almost to the point now where it's the guy who doesn't break or the guy who doesn't have an extra stop is the winner. We're going as hard as we can, just within some different parameters. Darren, my teammate, and I, our driving styles complement each other. I can get out of the car and say it's great, but Darren's gonna say it's understeering like crazy. Our engineer just kind of laughs and we've been teammates for six years now and it's a great relationship to have. When we finished on the podium at VIR, when Bob Snodgrass passed away, that was really an uh, emotional time. When I first started racing, I raced against Bob, and that's how I got my ride today. Bob, back in 93, said, oh, you're gonna drive for me someday. You're, you're gonna be one of my drivers. And that formed a relationship. He's been a guy that I've been able to call for personal problems, professional questions, anything. I've been leaning on Bob for all those years. And I wanted to do well, not just because of my own performance and so forth, but I wanted to pay him back for all the help he's given me over the years. He's a guy that was always there. He was like my dad, really. The personal pride I get is more trying to pay my bosses back and you know they put a big leap of faith into us and it's nice to to return the favor i like riding bikes especially mountain bikes i just don't get to do it enough and anything active I'm trying to do some more tennis and i've played hockey from age five to to college so i like to go play open hockey every once in a while so it seems like most of the things besides the tennis require a helmet which has my wife kind of laughing I'm very happy here. I'd like to continue to be a part of this series growing, becoming even bigger and better. There's a lot of upward growth potential here. I'd like to keep doing every race and, and not miss one. Collect some more championships and really start making a history of our own instead of just relying on my dad's.